It is currently uh, the morning before the PT test and I want to make sure I eat some a banana and I'll probably have half of this cliff bar just for some energy um, and stuff so gotta have something before PT test. So we just finished our PT test, got back to the unit, did our height and weight and stuff like that. Um, right now we currently have a little bit of time to go get some breakfast or something to eat. So I um, got some time to kill. I think I might actually be unhealthy and go probably get like a chicken sandwich or something. There's a McDonald's right down the road so that's what I'm going to do. But as far as the PT test this morning, I did pretty good. Um, I got 100 push-ups. 89 sit-ups in a 13 24 two mile run the two miles not what I wanted to get that's why I said pretty good um, That's something for me to work on I, I kind of slacked preparing for this PT test as far as the running goes But we can always improve definitely can do better next time So, you know for all you guys make sure you push yourself because you know, I, I hate not I hate not maxing. I think I got a 296 the when whenever you max the push-ups and like go above or you max the sit-ups you can't actually get over 300 unless you get a hundred in every event so even though I went way over on the push-ups and I went way over on the sit-ups because I didn't get below a 13 minute two mile on the run I'm stuck at 296 whereas if I would have ran 24 seconds faster the extended scale score probably would have been about three 335 or something like that so a little disappointed but always got next time next PT test definitely gonna do way better try my goal for this winter is to actually run through the winter I don't normally keep up that well through the rent the winter time running so definitely my goal to keep that up start running longer start running faster and then get my run time back below 12 minutes now I don't normally have all the time in the world to eat before this little shower time period but one of the perks of living at where I'm at right now I'm about a mile or two from the PT area where we do our PT test and so I ran home real quick took a shower and so now I don't have to take a shower like everybody else is doing so this is why I got a few minutes to kill So you guys are currently looking at a few video clips of me just kind of recording us PMCSing the Humvees. I'm going to talk about this a little bit later in the video, but because the Humvees were on, you know, all this audio for these clips are just, you know, you can't hear anything. But I figured it would be cool just to show you guys Humvees, you know, the inside of the Humvees and how we actually check them. Uh, my unit is a transportation unit and the next drill we have we're going uh, we're basically going to convoy over to Fort Bragg so you have to make sure the vehicles are in working order so we will literally check check everything and that's basically what we did before lunch um, and then after lunch the, we did a couple classes on weapons and a few other things like the re new retirement plan which you guys should have seen that video for me the other day I think possibly yesterday actually but basically what we're doing right now is waiting on the class to start for the M4A1, which is the new fully auto M4, which is pretty sweet. And then I will show you guys here in just a second the new grenade launcher. The cool thing about this new grenade launcher that you guys will see is 
whenever you actually pop out the round, like I just showed you guys right now, um, it, it just pops out to the side rather than the old one where you had to actually kind of cock it like a shotgun. But with this new one, you actually just kind of press a button and it'll eject the round, which is pretty cool. The other cool thing about this is you can actually kind of treat it like its own little weapon. So you can take off the new M M uh, M203 grenade launcher uh, that's mounted on the M4. You can take it off and then actually use it as its own weapon, which is really cool. So that's why there's this little foregrip on the on the thing, um, and you can't see it, but you can actually, when you take it off, you can actually, basically, it has its own butt stock, so you can literally fire it from the shoulder, which is like, it's super, super cool. But uh, this new grenade launcher I thought was pretty sweet, and I thought I would show you guys. All right, guys, so I just got back from drill. It was a pretty long day. It is, let me see here. It is about 1800 right now, so about 6 o'clock. So it was, it was a little bit longer than normal. We usually don't get uh, done until probably about 4.30, 5 o'clock is when we normally get released. But we had a lot to do today. Uh, I'm not sure how well I captured everything, but I liked. I, I hope I got a few things in for you guys. Basically what we did today was a PT test. We basically, I, what I did anyways, was I helped do this little concession thing for a little bit. Um, we PMCS the vehicles, which was just basically making sure that they are all ready to go for next month's training when we're going over to Fort Bragg to shoot our uh, M4s and stuff like that. So the Humvees have to be ready to go for that. And then we had another class on the brand new M4, which we got the M4A1s in instead of the M4A2s. The M4A2s, the difference will be those have the burst fire with the A2s. We got in the A1s and those are fully auto. So you're going to have semi, which is a single shot. So every time you pull the trigger, it's going to shoot one bullet uh, or one round. And then we got the uh, A1s in today, which are can be fully auto so you just squeeze the trigger and it just goes off and you're going to dump 30 rounds pretty quickly so that was the difference on that we also got to see the new m203 grenade launcher which is pretty sweet i think i got a few clips of that so that's pretty cool but um it was a pretty chill day today i don't think i'm going to include much tomorrow uh, i may record tomorrow we'll see how that goes and maybe if it's going well i will tack that on in the end of this video and you may not even see this whole outro right now but if you are seeing this, then that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to try and record stuff next drill. So if you're catching me for the first time you're in the, and you're wanting to be in the Army Reserves, my next drill, we're going to the range at Fort Bragg. We're going to be there for three days. Uh, should shoot a few different kinds of weapon systems. So I think that would be pretty cool. And I don't want to record these videos at drill and all that stuff with this nice camera. Uh, I put it in my pocket for a little bit. And I, I have sand in my pocket, and I've washed this uniform a whole bunch of times, and I don't want to get sand on the camera. So I'm going to use my regular cell phone camera for that, so I hope the quality of the video is good. But I will try to use this camera as much as possible. But again, that's it in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got some kind of general sense of just an average um, day of drill. Not a whole lot, but today, you know, we did a few, I guess, cool things messing with the, the new weapons. That was really cool. But I hope you guys have a great day. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you want to follow me for some more videos. Comment any questions you have down below. And I'll see you guys later.